Hey everybody, this is Special Agent 9 with the Blackwater Bandits, and today we're going to talk about your ability loadouts. The ability cards allow you to customize your character based on the style of gameplay that you want to do in Red Dead Online. You get one dead eye card and then you get three passive ability cards. Now by the time you hit level 40, all four of these ability card slots will be open and by the time you reach level 50 all the ability cards will be unlocked so you can choose whatever abilities you like. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at some of these dead eye abilities. You have your focus fire, the paint it black card which paints targets for you under your dead eye. Your dead eye ability cards you have uh, a moment to recuperate which heals you while your dead eye is active. The focus fire gives boost to your damage and to your teams while Dead Eye is active. Slow and Steady allows you to take less damage while Dead Eye is active. Uh, and the headshots won't instantly kill you, so that's a good one. Quite an inspiration will heal you and your teammates while Dead Eye is active. And Slippery Bastard um, keeps enemies from being able to lock on to you while your Dead Eye is active. So that's a really good one to have in PvP. Your passive ability cards are essentially grouped into three different categories, which is your combat abilities, your recovery abilities, and your defense abilities. So make sure when you're looking at yeah. your possible ability cards that you do hit RB on your bumper pad because there's a lot more than what it shows you on this initial screen. And you have your horseman card, necessary breeds, Landon's patience. Uh, that one allows you to do more damage if you wait up to 15 seconds between shots. The short game, hangman, winning streak, and you can see them all here because there are a lot of different ones to choose from. But what we're going to do today, we are going to talk about some specific ability loadouts that you can use based on the kind of gameplay that, that you want to have. So if you want to maximize yourself for PvP or PvE, we're going to talk about the, the ability loadouts that can help you best do that and achieve those ends. Because there are certain cards and abilities that, that just work a lot better together depending on the, the style of gameplay that you want to do. So let's start with a PvP ability loadout. And the dead eye card that you probably want to use here is the slow and steady. Because this prevents you from dying from headshots, which is exactly what you need to survive in PvP. But you do want to pair this with the never without one card because this will make it virtually impossible for you to die from headshots. You'll have a lot more survivability in PvP with this card combination. You're also going to want to get either the Strange Medicine card or Cold Blooded. Uh, Strange Medicine heals you while you deal damage and Cold Blooded gives you health after you kill an enemy. So these are both good recovery cards. And you probably want to think about getting to fight another day. This reduces the amount of damage you take while sprinting which will help you a lot in PvP. So now let's take a look at a PvE loadout. This is going to help you in your online missions and stranger missions and just being out in the world of Red Dead Online. So one of your better dead eye cards to choose for this would be the Focus Fire. This actually increases the amount of damage that you do. You want to pair this with the Horseman card that increases damage while you're riding a horse because you do that a lot in PvE. And Hunker Down allows you to take less damage while you're in cover, which, you know, if you're playing correctly, you will be in cover. I also recommend pairing this with Come Back Stronger. This regenerates your health after you take damage, so that's very useful to you in all your PvE endeavors. You may want to experiment with different ability cards and come up with a hybrid loadout of your own. Whatever works best for you, just remember, once you choose your ability cards, you do want to go ahead and spend the money and upgrade them. Uh, you can upgrade them up to level 3. It does cost a great deal of money, so you'll probably have to save up money for it. But it is worth it because it just allows you to get much more out of your individual abilities and out of your total ability loadout that you put together. We hope this video will help you figure out which ability loadout will work best for you. Please subscribe to our channel for more tutorials, walkthroughs, tips, and lots of other fun stuff for Red Dead Online. Thanks as always for watching. We we'll hope we'll see you in the next video. We are the Blackwater Bandits.